Travis here. I wanted to do a little narration excerpt from a project that I'm really excited about that's coming out today. Well, probably today, depending on when we put this video up. It's book one of the Chronicles of Ethan series. It's called Mythian. Um, it's the first book I've done for Mountain Dale Press, and the author is John L. Monk, and I just had a hell of a good time with it. Um, and for me, it's kind of like, it's a little interesting, and I'm going to tell you why. So I have narrated a whole bunch of books at this point, a lot of fantasy, a lot of sci-fi, but the one genre I have never done is game lit, lit RPG, which is a little weird because I'm actually a game developer and designer. I have been for decades. Um, I used to run Runa Games. We made Torchlight, Torchlight 2. Um, before that, uh, I made a game called Fate, which people make me feel old all the time because they say they played it on their parents' Dells. Um, and uh, I still make games. I just shipped uh, Rebel Galaxy Outlaw a couple of months ago. So for me, it's a little strange that I've never actually narrated for this specific genre because it seems like I should, right? Um, and one reason is I've, I've been a little bit leery because it's like uh, it's like being like uh, an aircraft engineer and uh, reading a book about building airplanes by someone who's only ever ridden in a plane. Or at least that's the way I kind of thought about it in my head. Um, you know how when you watch a movie and uh, they show the, the high tech email interface where it's got like 3D email envelopes flying at the screen and other ridiculous stuff that has no bearing in reality um, and you cringe a little bit? I was always worried that I would do that. My my fears were were very unfounded, um, and I could not have asked for a better first book to start narrating in this genre. I just loved the hell out of it. Um, not only was it extremely well written and very character driven, which I personally really like, but not once did my designer senses tingle and say, "Ooh, mm, mm. I just had a absolute blast." So. I'm very excited to have done it. Um, I'm very excited to see it coming out. I really loved working with John and Mountain Dale. It was just a super fun project. And I hope you dig it too. So I'm going to read an excerpt now. This is early in the book. Our main character is uh, Ethan Crane. Um, I won't go too much into the details of the book. I want you to find that out for yourself. But this is an excerpt early on where he's in the game world of Mythian. And uh, he's at basically the, the starter noob inn. Um, effectively talking to uh, what amounts to a really, really advanced NPC that's designed to introduce people to the game. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. That morning in the common room, the tables were filled with homely people eating bread and drinking ale. Bernard stood behind the bar telling several people the history of Heroes Landing in a hushed tone. It was as if nothing had changed from the day before. A weird sort of claustrophobia closed in on me, one where I stared down the eons at a life where nothing changed and nothing anyone did mattered in the slightest. I moved closer to listen. The barkeep's animated face matched his relentless cadence, alternating between that of a professional storyteller and the worst sort of hard-sell huckster. Lo, Bernard intoned, it was here those magical beings left their legacy, beneath the very bones of Heroes Landing. For a single gold piece, I can sell you an ancient map showing the entrance to those forgotten passages beneath this modern city. I also have swords, spellbooks, prayerbooks, totems, effigies, lockpicks, ranger quivers, and most of the other class starters. No haggling! Now, let's see, who's first? Angry grumbling from the group. Then one of them, a skinny man of Asian descent, said, Some crazy bitch killed us and stole our starter gold. Totally not fair. I'd like to file a complaint. Bernard's smile was wide, and his eyes gleamed evilly. And where, pray tell, will you file such a complaint? Customer support? There is none. Tech support? You're looking at it. If you need gold, go out and beg for it. Someone will eventually give it to you. Or you could always find a god and pray to it, see what happens. Some sects hand out prayer books free. If you like fighting, monks rely on punches and kicks, devastating DPS at high levels. Wouldn't that be fun? You could even multi-class. Diversity in skills. That's where the real survivability lies. Uh, excuse me, I said loudly, then swallowed when ten pairs of eyes turned to regard me. What's a DPS? Several in the crowd snorted. 
one of them muttered, they call us noobs. Ethan, Bernard boomed. So good of you to join us. I was just telling these noobs, noobs, noobs about this glorious city. He pointed rudely at everyone there as he said this. Oh, and to answer your question, DPS stands for damage per second. It's an old term from way back when, but it doesn't really apply anymore. Your kind still says it, though. One of the snorters, a woman, and the mutterer, a man, left the inn in a huff, still snorting and muttering to themselves. It sounded as if they were going to try begging. The other retirees began arguing about what to do. Someone suggested ganging up on noobs entering the game, the way Magda had done to us, thus perpetuating the abuse. I'd had enough. Excuse me, I said again. When nobody noticed, I raised my voice. Excuse me! That got their attention. I held up a shiny gold piece, the one returned to me by Magda. It had the Everlife logo on one side and a dragon's head on the other. I'll buy the map and share whatever's in it, I said. Well done, Ethan, Bernard said. Here you go. The gold piece disappeared from my hand, and a game notification flashed across my field of vision. Undertown, added to maps. I checked the tab in my character sheet called Maps and saw a new entry. Map to Undertown. Another game message. Virtue bonus, plus five, charity to strangers. I'd disabled the audible notifications, but forgot about those pesky virtue updates. Stifling a curse, I disabled them with a thought. After that, I endured handshakes and back clapping from players asking how much gold I had, and could they have some too. Bernard just grinned. Anyway, this book is fantastic. I hope you read it or listen to it. Deserves to be read. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks again, John and Mountaindale. Cheers.